Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday if you celebrated Thanksgiving. If not, I'm going to talk to you about a few things that have been coming up over the past week, and I do feel it's related uh, because Thanksgiving is about giving thanks and gratitude. But how are you grateful without groveling and how do you accept things? So part of the topic of this video is acceptance, acceptance in this retrograde. So we've got this really weird Mercury retrograde. It's got aspects of Venus. It is affecting the feminine a lot. It is affecting the masculine. And in fact, it's going to affect the masculine of the feminine. So if you live in a female body, if you're a female, it's going to affect your masculine. If you have a man that you love, it will have an effect on the man that you love. Okay. Part of that effect is just simply accepting what this is. Now that's not always a mind thing. It's a very much a body thing. It happens through the body and it happens inside the body and it happens with your light body or your subtle bodies rather. It is the subtle bodies. So this is going to bring up a lot of emotions, a lot of emotional connections to planets and places. Places where you may have feel that were you abandoned there? Were you left behind? Were you, you know, and what else does it bring up? Small things triggering up and out in your body, fears. You might have a bucket of fears. And what else does it bring up? It's going to bring up trust issues. I'm not sure I can never really trust another man again. But you're a man. Yes, but I trust myself. But I don't really know if I trust other men. After all, I know what they're capable of. I actually all also do not trust females. I don't trust them. It's going to bring up trust issues big time. Subtle trust issues, big trust issues, small things triggering out. Your nightmares and dreams may be off the charts. However, this is all paving the way for being able to be caring for people again. Because you might say, I'm never caring about another person. However, it paves the way for you to care again and care for yourself. This is another level of self-care. So when people out there say, you do you, what does it really mean? Of course you have to take care of yourself. After all, who's going to do it? For a lot of people, you're the only one who's going to do it. You're the one that has to take the cues and take the wheel. You have to. You might have to take charge of things. But do you know what to take charge of in terms of your twin flame union? What about relationships that have brought some of this stuff up and yet are needing deeper healing and where you need it shifting. If you're still doing things in fourth dimensional ways, if you're trying to get to the fifth dimension and be in physical union and you're doing fourth dimensional ways, not going to cut it anymore. You have to engage your light body. You have to get your channels open. You have to foster and promote and nurture the connection that you have with your twin flame. Otherwise, you will drag each other down. That There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And one of you has to break free of the past. So this is why small things will trigger things out. Now, in order to help you with that, I do have a five-week online webinar called Love for the Holidays. There are two more segments of it, December 2nd and December 9th, to further help support you, okay? Because this is a highly emotional journey. That is the very first thing I said. Emotionally, it doesn't make sense. Mentally, it doesn't make sense. Mental, emotional doesn't make sense. The ego doesn't always make sense. What makes sense? Being new. How do you be new? It happens through your body. So I have a brand new website called Twin Flame Body. That is another segment of what I do. I help focus and heal your Twin Flame Body from the ninth dimensional level. So if you have third dimensional people that get helped out of the third dimension by fourth dimensional people, what then happens with the fourth dimensional people when they start going fifth dimensional, right? 
Why the ninth dimension? Because the ninth dimension helps the fifth dimension. So you see, this might be the case for you if you feel like you've gone along and then you kind of hit that plateau and you say, why have I plateaued out? Why am I here? Why does this feel like, you know, I'm running and then I'm jogging in place to see where my other half is. Should I rest? Maybe I'll take a detour. Maybe I'll go off and get distracted somewhere. I'm going to say something to you. Accept that the year of 2018 is finally the year where you can start integrating. That was not possible in previous years in the same way. Okay. Now we're coming up to the December solstice. What does this mean? The December solstice, okay, December 21st, already started in November for twin flame people who are coming into union. So November is bringing the necessary changes. It's up to you to put the structure and the scaffolding in place for your physical union. And you might say, hey, I need to know about that. Well, it goes down to the most minute level possible, up to the highest level possible that you are capable of at any given time. And this is what my other website is about. It's called Twin Flame Body. It's to help you release many things. It is for support. It is where the supplements that I suggest will be there, um, how to use them. And I will be doing intuitive sessions to try and help, not try, I will be doing intuitive sessions to help you to get yourself healthier, more well, something that really is specific. So my work is intended to be a one-stop shop where you're getting everything that you need for twin flame reunions and union. And not only that, once you're together, there will be a time period that you are expected to maintain your health that you're going to need some support for. That's a given. People sometimes think, well, all you have to do is come together and there's a utopia right there. Well, yes, you are a universe unto yourself, but the utopia and the perfection has to be drawn in. You bring in, you clear, you bring in, you clear, you bring in, you clear, you clear, clear, you push, push, you, you sort. Okay, how do you surrender into that? That's what I teach. So I have several meditations for bringing in the light codes for to help you with your template. There is a template for living. There is a template for holding each other's higher connections. There's only one person that you're connected to. Despite what you might like to believe, because a lot of people would like that to be the solution. I'll just discard one and choose another or they chose me, and you find out something goes off the rails. Okay, if things are going off the rails for you, come and get the support, because if your twin needs help out of those lower dimensions, if they're still, you know, 4D trying to get to 5D with you, or if they are 3D and getting out of 4D. Now, they, that's not going to be a lot of people except for the people who are not awakened to this yet. Okay, so when it comes to twin flames, because I always get this as sort of a shock, to us it feels so big. Other people aren't going to understand it until they experience it. You are some of the first people on the planet to be experiencing this. You, yes, you are right out in the front. And you may be in the front of your union as well, where your twin is, you know, feeling like they are right behind you somehow, some way. And yet you are advancing. There is another level of this, just like there are level other levels of acceptance. This whole journey is going to be about trust. And I'll tell you where these things get triggered from. It is the psyche. So the psyche, the mind, and the body are all healing. That is actually the topic of another webinar that I have for sale on both of my websites. So this is... Psyche, mind, body, healing. I think it calls it healing, psyche, mind, and body. That is a very helpful one if you've been wondering what's going on with things. All of the phenomenon. 
I discuss it in there, not only that, I tell you how to clear it. Because that's not something that a blog is necessarily going to do. It has to be something that, yes, you work at it. Sorry, but this journey involves work. It involves an investment of time, energy, money, and love. It does involve that. And that is what it is taking for one person. Now, what you'll find is that usually one person is doing certain things. The other person is doing complimentary things. But you won't know that until you're doing the pillow talk. When you're pillow talking with each other, you'll find out those things. And sometimes you find it out through the body. You'll get a full-on experience of what your twin is experiencing. How would you like to get there? How would you like to stop the blah, 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 blah? Let's talk about it. Can we talk this out and really get some action going? How would you like to further your own activations? That is what I teach. So if you've been curious about the rainbow, okay, about your soul family, because connections to planets and especially emotional connections, that will be soul family. Soul family. Okay, this has been something that a lot of people are curious about. Your soul family. Does that mean your immediate family? It usually means people from the same origins as you. People from long ago and far away and someplace in time. I think that's a film. That's in fact the twin flaming film. Somewhere in time. Okay, somewhere in time you knew soul family. You had emotional connections with them. They are a part of the rainbow. So I have a webinar called The Entire Rainbow Spectrum of the Rays and the Blu-ray Purpose. Now, these are several things to help you. We do talk about the phenomenon, what the nightmares are about, what happens in your sleep, stuff with your eyes, what to do, what to support you. I include channel opening exercises. There are light codes with each and every one of these. And many people who have these planets, you're a star seed. You are seeded from that place. So, you know, just another prop I have. These are seeds from the maple tree outside my house. Okay. Now these are dormant. Okay. These have the DNA to grow into something 60 feet tall. Okay. That's sort of a cliche. We know all the story about the little seeds and how big they can get. But what people sometimes forget is that there's thousands of these that go out and they all wake up at different times. And that's not to say your twin isn't waking up. So there's a lot of talk about there about the DM this, the DM that, now the DM is this, now the DM is that, DM, DM, DM. And it's true, but you're hearing these things and what are you experiencing? Okay. If you are reading something that is saying, well, you know, collectively, the DM does this, like they do this, like they're all rushing to the shore. They all went over this way. They all went to the Home Depot. All the DMs are going to the Home Depot. All the DMs are asking for forgiveness. When you experience this for yourself, okay, which is what I help you to do, when you experience an overwhelming feeling that feels like, please forgive me. I'm remorseful. I want to come home. What if you don't like me? All these types of things. The other piece of it is trust. You build the trust up through your body where you know that you have each other's back no matter what. That is what we are doing. We're doing it right down here at a base level where this person and this person, no matter how crazy her hair looks, he, she knows he's got her back. And he's got to know that she has his back, okay? That she's not going to go off and get distracted, that he's not going to go off and get distracted. Oh, sorry, got to go. All the DMs are going off to war. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, do you all think that's happened? 
So there's a thing that while this seems like it's a collective thing, it's also very subjective. And it's also subjective to where your seed is from. Where is your seed from? That is where the soul family and you are going to lighten up and be able to throw out the heaviness. Small things will trigger out. How do you get rid of the emotional connections to people you cared about so that you can put your twin flame and they can put you as number one, okay? You need to be number one all the time, just like they need to be number one all the time. So as we head towards the solstice here, okay, the decisions that people have made, you know, over the past few weeks based on what they feel in the energies of what is best for them at any given moment that's going to be carried through the solstice here. But there are deeper activations for you to experience so that those deeper awakenings the deepening of your emotions and feeling each other happens and takes place. That is what love does. Love just keeps going. It will keep propelling you along. So if you're interested in the rainbow spectrum, get that. If you're interested in finding out how to heal the things that correlate to your passion, that's going to be the psyche. The psyche is the deep emotional passion and where things went wrong and if you want to find out other things to do my topics in the love for the holidays we are covering some of the same topics the emotions what to do and by the way please don't drink with people for the holidays and expect it to go well a lot of you are at the point where that's just going to lower the vibe and you probably know it so that's just a little tip that i'll give you know, that, that happens, just add alcohol. Some families, that's all they need. They just need to add alcohol. Or some relationships, just add alcohol. But maybe that's not you. Maybe it's your other. So how do you help them to reframe? How do you help your twin while still focusing on you and keeping you as healthy as possible so that you can do you and do you and them and twine yourselves together the way you're supposed to? Come and see me. Check the links below. I do a spirit chat session, which is one-on-one. -on -one. I do a causal body session, which is to help move things. And I also do a series of four sessions, which are to clear the psyche. This is helpful for things such as addictions. You will get recommendations on things. You will get healing at the level that it was created at, which is another dimensional level. That's where these things started way out in the cosmos. Four sessions for the psyche. Those are available when you view either of my websites. And if you need some help and intuitive guidance on what will be helpful for your body, because it's not just about if you're sick. I want to help people that feel sick, that feel low energy, that are fatigued, that are exhausted. It's also about maintaining yourself and building up. That's something that people don't know that in, in part of surrender means you build yourself up again. There are levels of a buildup that you may not begin to realize right now. I'm going to be talking about that in my webinar. I talk about it in here. I talk about it in here. So all the links are below. If you're not sure, reach out to me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. And the solstice is going to be a doozy for some people. It really is. For other people, maybe not so much if they've been following along. What I can say about my people is, as you've joined, thank you very much. You've been seeing a diminished effect. But there are things that will still happen. 2018 into 2019, I'm going to talk about that in the next video. So please stay tuned because I get some very high-level information from my higher self. And I have done all of the necessary legwork and private behind-the-scenes work on my light body 
to be able to do this, get my channels open, keep the love flowing. And there are things that I just know aren't being covered out there, but that's okay because that's what I do. That is what I am here for. That is my forte. I am all about the body. I've been doing this for 12 years already. And I also have done body work. In fact, that's how I started. So I do know quite a bit that I try to distill down to get you focused and get you deeper in love. That's what it's all about. Get people in love. Then they can do their mission. Get people in love. Then they can have great families. Get people in love. Then they're bringing the love to the world. Get people in love. Then it's a nicer world. Get people in love. Then we start changing the laws with love, not with force. Get people in love. They want to stop fighting. Get people in love. They want to stop having angry sex and actually make love. So if you are here to be in love, come and see me. Come and join. Come and find out. Come and have a session. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back with more about the change of the season, the changing of the light, and 2019. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.